Hello. Hello, everyone. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We, we picked this earlier today. Uh, Hoinichiwa. The name is Josuiji Shinri, Ronin of Guild Tempest from Hollow Stars English. It's so good to see you all. Also, hello, Hakitos. Welcome, welcome. Haka, I hope your stream went well. <laughs> There it is, there it is. Koinichiwa. Uh, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I, for the longest time, I could not come up with a, like, a pun, but you guys found out, like, a really good one in just, like, I don't know, like, a couple of hours. I'm impressed. <laughs> so thank you for the amazing, like, opening, opening uh, catchphrase. So thank you, thank you. All right, chat. So... Today, we only have one hour to play Mortuary Assistant. So we're going to go through the tutorial and then we're going to hop through. Um, please let me know if the music is good because this is one of those games where audio is like pretty important. Go ahead and raise the volume a little bit to add to the spooks. Yeah. <laughs> speedrun? No, not a speedrun. We'll be taking it casual and comfy today. One shift after the tutorial. Exactly. Exactly. A little loud. It's a little loud. Okay, here. Let's bring that down. We'll adjust it um, as necessary as we go through. Is it a chill stream? Yeah. It's going to be a chill stream. All right. So, because we only have a one, uh, we only have one hour, we're going to be popping in and getting through as much as we can. All right. All right. So, uh, Chad, I promised you guys I will be able to make Mortuary Assistant a comfy game. And I swear, it really is comfy because it feels like power wash simulator it, it feels like one of those games where you can kind of turn your head off and just like relax to the vibes and just enjoy you know everything that goes on around here just kind of mindlessly doing your task right <laughs> all right so without further ado let's go we're gonna go through the entire opening part because the lore is very important and we're gonna be talking about the lore later on uh when i do a proper like a mortuary assistant stream we go to the entire lore in a single city. I'm so glad it's almost over. Congratulations, <gasps> sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. I'll never understand why you chose such a macabre field. There's nothing but... disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of you. I really am. You've come so far. My parents never told me that. So, you haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job where you are, or...? They actually have everyone they need. But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Ooh, oh, internship. Well, that's good. Nice. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no. No, I'm not moving. <laughs> He's actually located around here. Riverfields. Oh, Rebecca. I don't like that. Grandma. Even I've heard things about that place. Mm, suspicious. Just be worried people about you. People make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. And we try to explain <laughs> things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. Right, right. I'm sorry. But I wanted to give you this anyway. Ooh. So, I wonder what it could be. Here. <gasps> oh. I, I don't know if I want that. Just take it, please. It should be yours anyway. I wonder what kind of meaning it would have if that grandmother would insist that Rebecca have it. Thanks. All right. Enough spooky stuff. I'm so proud of you. When is all this happening? When do you start? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow. <laughs> All right, Chad, you may have noticed I actually try to stay a little bit quiet during the cutscenes. Um, I really love to focus on the lore of these horror games. So if I'm a little quiet during these cutscenes, please uh, just keep in mind that that's kind of the player that I am here. And I really want to give not only myself, but the audience also time to pay attention to the dialogue. But it will make comments here and there because, you know, it's kind of fun. <laughs> All right, here we go. 
It's a nice car, you know? Ooh, fancy. All right, let's see. Mouse sensitivity seems fine. <gasps> Ooh, coffee. Wait, wait, put that back, put that back. It was like that when I got here. All right. Ooh, what is this? Rebecca, one last thing I forgot to give you. Please grab a pencil from the desk and sign. Thanks, Zoe. P.S. Good luck. <laughs> Shh, we didn't, we didn't break anything. It's fine. Pencil, used to sign the paperwork left on the door. All right. Pencil. Nice. Ooh. Our first body. <laughs> Ooh. Rebecca. Huh? Great. Perfect timing. I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Wheel him back to cold storage and bring Miss Page. All right. So I guess we stand here and then... Ooh. Why is the mouse sensitivity so, like, heavy? <laughs> All right. Signed without reading a little sus. Yeah, okay, chat. Remember, you whenever you sign paper, sign contracts, anything, right? Always be sure to like read all the fine print. I will leave you here. Click to open. Left mouse button and pull up. Nice. There you go, Mr. Dalton. We have a wonderful bet. Sweet dreams. And Mr. Delver said this was Mrs. Page, right? <laughs> yeah, Chad, which one of you guys just uh, went ahead and signs at all the contracts and hits? I agree. I read the terms and conditions without uh, really reading into it. <laughs> Couldn't be me, right? Couldn't be. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm just finishing up something here, so why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks? Identifying I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. All right. Dorothy Page, 87 years old. 87's pretty nice. You know, like, I, I would like to live to 87. That's what? Uh, 50, 57 from me? Because I'm 30 right now. All right, let's check out the head. Hmm. I don't see anything over here. Ooh. That must be it. There's one. And I don't see any more. Oh. Two. Three. All right. Hmm. These old windows never stay latched. Should look into to fixing those, those window latches. Interesting. Oh, nice. <laughs> hey, Hawk, good to see you here. Ooh. Man, we're finding all these identifying markings real quick. Oh, it looks like scratches. I wonder... Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. Nice. Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. After that, we'll get started. You know, he kind of looks like really like... Like a dependable person, you know? <laughs> Hope you're having a wonderful time, Hakka. All right. Enter cad cadaver? Cadaver? Cadaver and from What was that? I didn't say anything. You all right? Y yeah. Mm. I'm fine. Sorry. Click the record system icon to open the program. Match the sections on the clipboard. After finding all, click submit. All right. Uh, record system. There we go. Dorothy Page, 87. Head, 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 head. There we go. A rash on the head, blemishes, and a rash on the right shoulder, and then a mole on the right arm. Hemangonia? Hemangonia? I have no idea how to pronounce this one. I'm so sorry. Hemangioma. And then left leg, mild abrasion. Nice. Man, look at, look at his, look at his eyes. He seems like a pleasant person, though. Feeling more comfy than scared? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Ooh. Huh? 
wait a minute. Wasn't the cold storage lo Oh. Look at that. If we if we step too far away from it, it turns off or it like kind of blanks out. Interesting. Nice. You know, I have not taken a look at the rest of this place. <laughs> Very cozy. Ooh. Time to embalm. Time to embalm. All right, let's see. What do we need to do? All right. I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. All right. Everything's on your list there if you need it. Okay, so retrieve the body, inspect the body, and then wire the jaw shut with a needle injector and settings needle. Mmm. Eye caps. Ooh, setting needles. There we go. And then the needle injector. Setting needle barbs into the skull. Ooh, sounds intense. Sounds very intense, you know? Chad, you guys floss, right? Please tell me you floss. <laughs> Flossing is important for your dental hygiene. I will say, I think the most intense part is just, you can feel the force of this needle injector injecting the, the, like the wires into the jaw because of how hard the head like shakes from the impact. Like, look at that. That's a heavy, like a punch. There we go. All right. Eye caps. I hear that these eye caps have like little barbs on them. Right. And they're not just like regular eye caps. Instead, um, they like latch onto the eyelids as they like stick to you. Ooh. All right. I'm guessing these are the four chemicals we have. Glutaraldehyde, methanol, humectant, and formaldehyde. You guys hear that? Hmm. Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly, and it can make them pop like that. Huh. Just keep doing your thing. All right. I'll get it. You're the boss, man. I'll take your word for it. Formaldehyde. Where did they even come from? Did they just pop down from here? I think this place needs a little bit of a... You know. I can't, I can't use that here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Weird latches that don't break, you know, that cause the windows to fall down. Balls that pop around here and there. Do what the boss does. Exactly. All right. Incision with the scalpel and then use forceps to clamp the tubing. And then that's it, right? So scalpel. Forceps. I know what those look like. And I'm guessing this is the tubing. Flexible, durable tubing used for various medical applications. Nice. All right, around here, you, forceps, PVC tubing, nice. And then, ooh, that's really loud. <laughs> this piece needs to be renovated, yeah, it really does. Mmm, good soup. <laughs> It is very loud, though. It's machine. No. <laughs> Not like that. All right, here we go. <laughs> and I think we're... There we go. All right, now we just need to do the reverse, right? Just need to take the stuff out. And then close that back up. And what else is there next to do? Uh, ooh, an IV reservoir bag. I bet you it's one of these last remaining items here. There's a reservoir bag. That. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cavity fluid. Is it the fluid from the cavity or is it... I must be seeing things. Hmm. Oh, the sound. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> what is this sound? Oh, no. Nice abs, right? Yeah, probably better than mine. Oh, 
just a little more. I think it's supposed to be like, it's supposed to preserve the body, right? Or like prevent the organs from going somewhere. <laughs> this slipping noise. <laughs> I like how this, this is such a nice thing to have. I want to get one of these, you know? At least for my, uh, for my own like place. Have like little steps that I can follow through. All right, let's go ahead and clean the tank. What's up? <laughs> All right, last thing we got to do is apply moisturizer after the tank cleaner and then return the body to cold storage. Moisturizer, moisturizer, which is this last one here. Nice. All right. Moisturizing pad. I can't use that here. Oh, there we go. Okay, all of it. Oh. Yeah, we didn't moisturize fast Thank enough. What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. Uh, are you sure? I just got here. Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. I think we did something wrong. Oh no, we're going to get fired for the internship. Are, are you sure? We were we were almost done though. The last thing we needed to do was take the back, take the body back to cold storage. Ah, oh, we probably did mess up. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Chat, one thing I have learned though is if you do a new uh, skincare routine like It was just really ooh, weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? Yeah. So, that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like he just said it to get me out of the building. Uh, wait a sec, I have another call. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Hey, man. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. I'm just not feeling too well. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it in right now. I was hoping you could come in and take care of them. Well, uh, yeah. Three new cadavers. Uh, are you sure? Ooh. I mean, of course. <laughs> Excellent. You're doing me a huge favor. I took care of the rest of your onboarding. We're all set. And your new badge is in your personal belongings drawer in the back room. Oh, we got That's the great. job. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. <gasps> we got the job. See you tomorrow. Bye. Holy shit. That was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. <gasps> you it was fine congratulations thanks <laughs> i have to go like right now i'll talk to you later ah <sighs> got a job where are my keys all right uh keys 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 there we go nice Ooh, coffee oh yeah like that luna bits Tooth time. Can I open the bathroom? No. Ah, <gasps> milk. All right, we'll check back on these later because we don't have time today. <laughs> uh, you know the game is fictional because the protagonist got a job. <laughs> Oof! Ouch! Okay, that's. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, I like that one. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right, Mover Fields Mortuary. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll take the job. You know. All right. Guess I'll head to the back and get started. All right. <gasps> what is that? 
What? Uh, okay. Hi, Rebecca. Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just try to stay calm. I know you're scared. I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? Wait, which door? This is very sudden, but listen to me. We have to start right away. I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning <gasps> that it was here, let alone bound to you. I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Look, this isn't funny. Stop. You need to take this seriously. You need to help. <gasps> this is insane. I'll just leave. I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. Most. So we stay calm. Okay? We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. What do you mean Treat most? Like a normal day. Staying focused will help. I left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. Ugh. Damn it. What the fuck? This is insane. What? Okay. This is so stupid. It's just some hazing for the new girl or something. Just, just play along okay. and do your job. Uh, ooh, I like that. What does he mean my most bodies are fine? Ooh, I like that. Ah, <gasps> nice. An old key, a hulk. Ah, there it goes. You don't need the tape recorder, right? Do we need the tape recorder? Nah. We'll be fine. Let's use the hall key. Nice. Quitting tomorrow. I mean, who does something like this? I like how she says she wants to quit tomorrow. Oh hey. All right. Listen carefully. I'm look. I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. Mm -hmm. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. Okay. Look, I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. I had years to learn what I know. You have hours. What happened? <laughs> I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. <laughs> Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. The correct body. The most important thing in the room is in that cabinet. Open it up. Good luck, Rebecca. I'm guessing it's this one. I'm sorry this had to happen. This is insane. Whatever. Just be the professional one, grab a body, and get started. Nice, nice. Yeah, I, I could use Haka's help here. Ooh. Yeah, screw all of whatever this is. I'm getting back to work. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back to that later. Alright, clipboard. At least I can keep track of things. Alright. Where's the next just this when you need one, right? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Use the gurney. Oh, this thing is really heavy. I don't know why. Something crummy old building. Lock me in here. Scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> My goodness. First uh, windows. Wait, hold up. Uh this one has a name on it, right? Okay. There we go. Right, let's take the first one. And then, first body. What was it about the, the the retort? This is the thing, right? It's like a ooh, ooh. What is that? Cremation bag storing the ashes. Oh, ashes. Wait, there must be ashes in here, right? Ashes, nice. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the ashes, but we'll take it. All right, so first body. 
I'm guessing we just need to do the same thing that we did this morning um, during our like final review of the internship. So I guess we can just move on with it, right? All right, let's check you out. Okay, so um, it looks like there's a bunch of things here. Okay, nice little spot there. I mean, it's not like they're gonna be like you know jump up and terrify me, right? Hello? Well then. Nope, nope. New job. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> How long I went to school? New career path. I'm thinking the same thing. I don't Fine. Maybe. No. Maybe. It's it's fine. Uh, what? What's going on? No, I, I you're just you're just as much as huh? I, I'm just saying things. I just need to get back to work. It's it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, right? Just need to get back to work. <laughs> All right. Uh, right, back to work. Back to work. Yeah. That was open when we got here. All right, let's check out the body. Any identifying markings? Got a few there. Screw this. I'm getting back to work. Nothing over here. It's so stupid. Chad, do you guys think like real like uh, morticians will play pranks on their interns? Ooh, like this. I think it would be pretty pretty hilarious. There we go. It would be terrifying and like. I don't know, it, it would seem kind of rude, but at the same time, I think it would be like really funny. Right. Head, shoulders, uh, knees, and toes. Easy peasy. I guess we do need the tape player for these, right? <laughs> Seems like a very solemn job. Yeah, like you really do need I to, need to file the copy I guess like, front. Just respect the people. Mmm. Yeah. I see that chat. <laughs> Time to embalm. Alright, let's grab the tape player and see what, what we need to play. At least let's listen to the thing on the inside because I'm guessing the rest of the tapes are like, yeah, Rebecca, make sure you follow the steps I told you on the on the uh clipboard. I'm guessing it's this one that we need to listen to. Tools of expulsion. Huh. To banish a team must be bound to its chosen body and burned. Mm -hmm. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special Crunchy. that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. Oh, so one of those juice bottles. On the yeah, bottle, okay. Look at that. The inside. It will force <laughs> the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention there we to are. signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Obvious or subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of right. paper on the right are called letting strips. Oh. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. These ones. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Uncover sigils. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. Okay, wander it. If it begins to smolder and burn, Ooh. you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere. Anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture. Inside and furniture? The demon will inscribe its sigils Oh. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with, and use that knowledge to create We're getting close, chat. The steps are simple. And the agent of the evolving mixture, uncover the sigils, build the mark and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, burn it in the return. Nice. All right. Haka, is this what you do? You just walk around with these little symbols? All right, so... It's got the spiral thingy, right? Uh, 
Oh, there's the spiral thingy. I'm guessing... Okay, so we put it in the mark like that. Easy. All right. Um, What's the next thing that we got to do? Oh, it's the juice. It's the juice, right? I remember the colors of the juice. I don't know what they're called because they have very long names. But I remember the colors. Blue one. And then this square one here. And then there was a white bottle. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it's the juice, right? Ooh, ooh, right, right, right. We have to go find this bottle here at the reagent. Nice. All right. Hey, Chad, do you guys remember the weird thing that was, like, standing there in the window? What was that? Wait, we need to get that tube. Where's the tube? Tubing. Ooh, hey, they labeled it. Nice. Oh. Let's go ahead. Uh, forceps and tubing. Now we get to go drain this. All right. While that's happening, let's go grab one of those. <laughs> that was Jerry. <laughs> All right. So we know from the little tutorial that we did at the beginning that it takes a little while. So let's wander around the halls and see if we can find another sigil. Haka, you need to teach me how to do this. Do you just like slap them with the little stick? Like, do you stab these demons? Hmm. I guess we'll look for it another time. Come here and then pull that out. Sew that back up. And then what do we have to do next? Oh, wait. All right, the, the body juice. There we go. Slap the demons. <laughs> Gotta go hunting with those spears, right? Hey, pokey thing. And then... I, is this... I want to know, like, how accurate is this to, like, real morticians? Blood chunk club. <laughs> I imagine I imagine Haka like fighting with the spears against the demons, and then when the spears aren't like penetrating the armor or the demon's too powerful, he's like, I must use this ultimate technique. I'm sorry, master. One like this one time I must go all out. And then he reaches down and then he takes one of his sandals off and he goes, La Chancla and Huh. Pretty sure this was it. Huh. I guess we do need to go ahead and fix the wiring. All right. The next thing that we need to go is grab the cleaning fluid from the tank. It's here, right? Looking good. All right. Cleaner base. <laughs> yeah, this place really does need to be renovated. <laughs> All right. And just like last time, that thing takes a little bit of time to go ahead and clean out. So, we're going to go around, check here. I don't want to get wet, so... Must be the storm going outside. I don't want to get wet, so I, won't, I don't want to go outside. I bet you the demons also don't want to get wet, too. So they'll stay inside here. Moisturizing light. Nice. All right. Let's go and moisturize. Just like right. that. Must be the wind. Exactly. All right. So body number one done. If I remember correctly, Mr. Delver said that there were three bodies, right? We got to pay the electricity bill. <laughs> All right. So body number one. Did you guys hear that? Huh. Okay. All right. And then we'll put you in there. No funny business from this uh, this body. So I don't think that's the one that's been possessed by the demon. All right. Let's go ahead and take you. Body number two. Flickering lights? No. It would have been too obvious, right? It must be the wind. Must be the body. Hmm. Suspicious. It's very quiet. 
Is he smiling? I don't think so. It looks like it's just a neutral face. Just a neutral reaction. Oh, it's on the other side. Okay. Uh, ooh, there's one marking here. Anything on the hands? Ooh. He's nice, nice. Oh, it looks like there's a marking on that other side. So it looks like there's two markings on... Thank you for reminding me. There we go. I, I guess they don't want the door open, so we'll just go ahead and close it. We can go along with that. 35? They're only thir they're only five years older than I am? Oh my goodness. Yeah, you gotta take care of yourselves. Mm, left leg. There we go. There we go. door is open. <gasps> Do you think they may mean the front door is open? We should go check that while we're out there putting this away. Okay. Let's go check out the front door and see if it's open or not. Okay, we'll put that there and then... No, it looks closed. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Matchbox. Just one left, though. Well, we'll put it. We'll put it to good use. Maybe we can roast half a marshmallow of it. Yeah? All right. So I'm guessing we do the exact same stuff in the exact same order. Gotta get these. The demon line. How dare they? Right? How dare a demon spread falsehoods? My goodness. All right. So first thing is the teeth, right? The jaw. What's that sound? Wait, there let's go. go let's go investigate. What was that sound? I think it came from here. Ooh, wait. What? I can't see it, chat. Oh, it's here. <laughs> it's the L. Okay, it's an L. All right. Is that is that the warning sign they give you? Um, L. There we go. It goes clockwise, right? All right. Now where were we? Eye caps, right? Take the L. <laughs> Take the L. Uh. All right. All right. Next one is the juice. Get the red bottle. And then the blue bottle. And then the green bottle or brown one. And then the white bottle here. Nice. Oh, and then we gotta put in the special magic demon juice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can't forget this one. I wonder how they make this one. Like, what is it made out of that's so special, you know? Hmm. All right. Uh, tubing, tubing, tubing. Down here. Nice. <laughs> very, good, very, very comfy. Alright, uh, forceps, and then tubing, and then, now we can go and drain this out. Ooh, wait, so, while that's happening, let's go ahead and find another one of these. I wonder if it's on this side. Hello, Sigil. Sigil, Sigil. Sigil, hello? <laughs> I don't see it. Do you think it might be shy? Ooh, phone call. Uh, wait, let me turn this off first, because it's really loud. It must be Mr. Delver. Hello? Hello? Why are you still doing this? <gasps> I'm going to kill you, Rebecca. <gasps> oh no, wait, Mr. Delver told us not to answer. <gasps> he told us not to answer the phones. Did I just... <sighs> Bad ending? Uh-oh. You know what? Here, we'll, we, we will, we'll wrap up as fast as we can, and we won't worry about it. It didn't happen. Shh, chat. Don't clip it. Uh, juice. And then long pointy thing. 
It didn't happen. <laughs> Telemarketers. <laughs> oh, that would be a lot more terrifying if it was a telemarketer that did some of that. Let's just you know, it's call rings like, hey, hey Shinri, I'm going to kill you. And we'll be like, I, what? How did you get this number? I don't even have a telephone. How did you call me? Where is this from? <laughs> All right, almost there. I think we're there we go. Nice. And then we got to get the juice. Oh, I'm sorry, not the juice, the tank cleaner. There we go. Tank cleaner. Nice. We mix it with this thing. I want to know if the, like the little, the dark, like shadowy figure with the red glowing eyeballs that was like right here that we saw early in the morning. Do you guys think it's shy? Like it only appeared for a brief moment before disappearing. All right, we haven't checked out cold storage yet. So let's go through there and see if we can find another sigil here. Any sigil? Nothing. I don't see anything. I'm really curious to know, like... Nice. All right, let's put that away for now. Moisturizing wipes. And... I think someone's at the front door. Hang on. All right. Let me go check. Okay, wait. Priority. Door first. <sighs> so this is what they meant. The door is open. Okay, what is this? What is causing all this racket? What? Okay. What on earth? Who, who's making... Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Well, it did stop, so, you know. Oh, well. <laughs> nice beats, right? I would like to learn how to, like, learn how to rap to a beat like that. Huh. Okay. Um... I mean, I guess I can understand that it is pretty stuffy uh, in there, so I don't really blame you, um, but like, if, you, if that works for you. There we go. Okay, this one doesn't have a name on it, and it's empty. We'll... Maybe... Maybe no. We'll see if, you know, if she complains again and wants to see the manager. Uh, until then, you know, we'll, we'll just put her back in the, the cold storage. <laughs> Wait, while we're here... <sighs> I had a hunch. It's a... It's a squiggle. A squiggle. Alright. Let's go back and let's put the squiggle in there. <laughs> Alright, so we got three of what uh three of the four four sigils okay this is thing on the forehead don't see anything else in there mm. I don't see any marks on the front or oh there's one on the back okay let's check out the hands thing here the feet there we go huh. that one's quick very quick very quick just those Chad, do you guys ever have those moments where you're kind of like hanging around and you, you sit, you know, you're sitting around and then you stand up and your head gets all fuzzy and you feel very lightheaded? You might be like that. Jen Shoemaker, 83 years old. Wow. Right shoulder and right leg. Yeah, I think that's the effect that's going on here. Well, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, the squiggle, right? There's the squiggle. There we go. All right. We have three out of the four. Easy peasy. Oh, low blood pressure. So that's what it is. All right. <laughs> Do you hear the voices? 
All right, one more time. We're going to do the exact same procedure on the body. There's a fourth needle injector here that makes me think maybe there would be a fourth body. Yeah. Scalpel. Or subs. And then the eye caps. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead and wire those jaws shut. You know what? For someone who is 83, those teeth are very white. Like, good dental hygiene right there. There we go. Chat, make sure you floss. Flossing is always good. Okay. All right. I caps in. Now the juice. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be calling it juice. Um, it's what? What do you even call that? The fluid. There's the white bottle, and then the brown bottle. You don't chat other than those weird noises. We haven't really seen anything. Knuckles soup. <laughs> Uh, I guess, yeah, I guess in general, it's just called embalming fluid, isn't it? Chad, are you guys scared of the thunder? Thunder and lightning? Don't worry, man. I am here, chat. I will protect you guys. Hmm. Alright. Make a small incision, get some PVC I'm tubing. Oh. Artery? Honestly, for me, I really enjoy storms. Like the sound of rain. Wait, we gotta get one of those. Yeah. Alright, let's go find the last one. Huh. Hello? What was that? <laughs> Ooh. Alright. Let's go on a little hike real quick while that's still running. <laughs> I saw a bottle just like jumping around. Mm. It's probably just the wind, isn't it? All right. Well, she's not going anywhere, so we'll leave her there and go look on around for the fourth and final sigil, right? The mug was nagging. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go ahead and take that out, sew that back up, and then, mm, body juice. Get the bag, and then some IV fluid. The long pokey stick here, too. Mug. Nice. Okay, fill it up with cavity juice. And a little bit more here. A little bit more over there. <laughs> I will say, um, while we were <laughs> preparing for debut, uh, we were watching uh, the Vanguard boys and I were watching the HQ boys doing theirs, and we were <laughs> reviewing yeah. it with that one uh, that one part where, um, where <laughs> what is it? Vesper was trying to talk about the the wall mug, and he was just absolutely confused. He was like, "What am I looking at? I don't know what that is." <laughs> the only thing he could utter was just a mug. And like we were having so much fun just talking about that moment because you could see Vesper just so flabbergasted. It like caught him completely off guard. All right, where is that little uh, fourth sigil? Where's that little bugger? Are you hiding over here? No, I don't see it. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and moisturize this last body. So we need to still need to find one more sigil. I don't know where you'd be able to find one. All right. All right. Let's go put this body away. The only thing we need to do is find out what the fourth sigil is, and then... Why are you so crunchy looking? Aw, he's shy. I'm sorry, I didn't mean- Oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean that. I... Oh. I, I can understand. Okay, fine. I... Am I that intimidating? I'm sorry. I didn't- I didn't mean that. I... <laughs> oh. Okay. 
well, here, we need to burn one of these bodies, so we'll, we'll leave that there, and let's go figure out where the fourth uh, sigil is. <laughs> Look! What are you doing there? Get down from there, and you'll... Are they all shy? Am I that intimidating, Chad? Am I that scary? I like to think I'm a pretty approachable guy. Ooh, there it is. Oh, it's like a T. It's like a T. Is this entire, like, are all of them just really, really, like, embarrassed? Okay, wait. It goes in the order that I found them, right? I think, wait, hold on. Let me go back and check and see. Uh, I need to go find, wait. Ooh, what's this? And we used to see how far one has slipped into possession. Slipped into possession? Oh, that's a funny scribble. I don't like that. Okay, hang on. The key to the hatch outside. There's a hatch outside. Interesting. All right. You did mention nine, three, five, four, nine, nine. Grandma, what are you doing out there? You're going to catch a cold. Wait, hang on. Wait. Don't you love your grandma? Wait a minute. You're not grandma. I need to. I need to. Wait. Chat, what was the code again? I couldn't read it before grandma interrupted me. <laughs> Oh, lightheadedness. Grandma, there's a lot of crazy people here, but like... Let me, you little bitch! <sighs> well, now I'm not gonna let you in if you have that attitude. Gosh, rude. Right, 93524. 93524. You don't have to be... I mean, like... You don't have to be so mean about it, right? Wait, that's the record system, so it's gotta be this other one here. Nine, three, what was it again? Five. Oh, my brain. <laughs> I've completely forgotten. Hang on a minute. Right? Like, if you lash out like that, I'm not, it's, you know, less likely to help you. Nine, three, five, two, four. <laughs> Chat, I want to say I love you all. Uh, nine, three, five, two, four. Um, I really appreciate it, but like, Three, five, two, four. But chat was like scrolling by way too fast. Demonic names. There we go. Uh, way too fast for me to like notice. Commodus demons. Three houses composed. The true name is composed of four sigils. Okay. Let's check out the house. Uh, which ones are the letters that we have already? Not this one. Let's go back. And... No, Chad, I really mean it. I appreciate it, but like it was just way too fast and I couldn't read it. <gasps> hey, it's got all the ones that we have here. L, the T, the Spiral, and the Squiggle. Easel. Oh, that's a very pretty name. Okay, wait, what was it again? L, T, Spiral, Squiggle. All right, so L, and then the T is over here. So T, Spiral, and Squiggle. All right, let's take the mark. Take the mark. Nice. Ma'am, I'm gonna ask you to sit back down. Oh, she's like floating up there a little bit. I think we know which one's the real body. This is a little awkward, ma'am. I... I'm sorry, that wasn't scary. That I know that was supposed to be scary, but you did a little dance, and you were just, like, really just working it. So, I... <laughs> I guess it's you. I... All right. <laughs> wait, hold up. I have... Wait, can I use the ashes on things? I have a bag of ashes, right? Ashes. Can you light ashes on fire? 
It looks like a hook. Let me go double check real quick. I, the, I mean, I can see the dance being kind of cute. Really uppity. Really, really uppity. Hey, it is a hook. Okay, I think we got the right one. See, this is what happens. They start to protest, and I bet you when I go and, like, put the the mark on them, they'll be like, are you sure it's the right one? Because, you know, are you trying to, like, you know, psych me out? But I'll be like, of course it's the right one. You wouldn't say that if it wasn't. I think we did it, right? Now we just watch, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Lots of fire. <gasps> oh, that was loud. Wait, the red, the red juice in the thing, it's supposed to seal the demon, right? Oh, that was a flash bay. My eyes, that's really bright. <laughs> Did we do it? Can I leave? I want to go home. You can leave. But once an entity finds you, all the houses of hell will do anything to get back to you. I'm sorry, but it doesn't end here. Being targeted now. now. There is always a chance this will happen again, no matter where you are. I don't want this. I just want to leave. What do I do? <gasps> I'm sorry, but there's no going back. I've spent years learning everything I can to keep these entities at bay. We did it in half an hour. It's the only thing we can do. So what, you're waging some selfless holy war? It's not a war. It's survival. And I'd hardly call it selfless. We're caught at the front line of something larger. But I don't do this for some greater good. We either face it or fall to it. I wish I could claim to be someone better. Suffering hell to save us all. He looks so tired. But I simply want to live another day, just like everyone else. When I first experienced <gasps> this, I had to make a choice. I could run and spend the rest of my days in fear. How long has he fought this? Or I this? could learn to face it and keep some semblance of a normal life. Normal. Right. It's not a life I would want for anyone. But choosing between a life of fear or control. Mm. You're the first person I've met to face this hell and survive. So I'm offering you a different kind of job. Work the night shift. Learn what I know. Give yourself a chance at a life beyond fear. I don't know what you experienced, but I know it uses the worst parts of you against <sighs> yourself. The more you experience, the more you'll confront the darkest parts of your life. But through it, you'll become unbreakable. I'm offering the tools to take control. Oh. The choice is yours. I hope you come back. That's a hell of a speech to give to the first shift. Nice. Look at that, Chad. Shifts completed one. Demons banished one. Three bodies embalmed. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Chad. Well, what do you guys think? I think I did a pretty good job of keeping my cool during the entire time. <laughs> All right. And I think that actually puts us at just the right time. Thank you, everyone, for stopping by. I hope you had a wonderful time today and enjoyed this little trip. Uh, do the mortuary and embalming some bodies and banishing some demons. We were able to do it, and uh, I think uh, I think I did pretty well. I think Haka would be pretty proud. <laughs> All right, chat. I think we're gonna have to go call it here for today. 
Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful time. Please keep your eye out for the rest of the streams from the other boys we have lined up for tomorrow. And I will see you all then. All right? Bye, everyone. Otsuiji. Bye-bye.